typically just get blown up. Wi-Fi. Someone, is this the one who plays Wi-Fi? We got a, a Wi-Fi warrior versus the the hometown MD Ganondorf. Jamal. Jamal. I mean, if it says one. if it says Wi-Fi and and, it, and it's Wolf, it's a, it's it's a serious threat. The name looks familiar, but the face doesn't. So I'm interested to see how Jamal stacks up against the the big scary man himself. Yeah. I mean, already getting a lot of percentage on, but a lot of heavies will say that's just the game. Is you just get racked up a bunch of percentage and then then you get to play the game. The Ganondorf counters at four, right? I think I think the hit counter for Ganondorf is at four. Yeah, you gotta you gotta pay attention to see how long it takes to five. That's five. Yeah. Already at sixty nine percent. Why are they just going for wild stuff like down smashes? I mean, right now I'm a believer in Jamal. Jamal looks pretty solid. I mean, Wolf yeah. and Wi-Fi. That's six, by the way. Okay. Down smash. All right, that's tricky. Right? Yeah, yeah, that, that was kind of a mix up because he did it the opposite way, and if you let go shield too early, he got slapped by it. That dare is absolutely powerful. Let's see that one more hit is all it really takes. Oh, all right. All right, up smash for up smash, but unfortunately you do not come on, out on top, Bloody Knight. It's actually a dash attack there. Oh. That got the KO, but nonetheless. So it's an interesting stop because we've seen eight hits, and Wolf has not lost a stop. Nine. It takes nine hits. You do not need to get to double digits if you're Ganondorf, that's for sure. Yeah, we don't want to. Ganondorf. With double digit hits, is uh, it's not playing very well. As you can see, Jamal's playing the game smart. He says, let me just back up, throw blasters at you because you can't contest it and see what happens. And Bloody Knight has that flame choke option in his mind from last stock and he uses this stock to rack up some quick percentage. Nice Nair, big meaty hitbox coming out, keeping Jamal on his toes. Ooh, back air kills. That wolf is so, so strong. A lot of moves on Wolf's Arsenal managed to, to do the job just well. Up oh kill, no. Bloody Knight's just going wild. He wants Jamal to press a button so bad. I feel like he just wants to show off for stream. That's also true. Bloody Knight does like to do that as well. I think we're at 17 right now. Yeah, so he's one, a, 17 he's, to 117, in fact. Uh, so that's 18. Tried to go yeah. for that dare spike, yeah, but not quite finding it. Bloody Knight taking way too long to get stocks off. That's not... That's not the Ganon way. There nice it is. back air, though. And finishing up for now, only 42% on Bloody Knight's stock, and this is an explosive character he's playing, so it's not too hard to get a crazy comeback. But again, Jamal just getting those amazing strings into that back air, connecting, and that's a nice first game with a JV2 stock. You know what? I, I like Jamal. I think I think Jamal, I mean, Wolf, Wi-Fi, that's a great combination right there. I, I believe in Jamal. I think he's lo he's looking good. And uh, that forward air to back air was, was a true combo. It was very well done. If you turned off the player cams and changed Dex uh, Wolf's color to blue, I could have sworn it was Dexter. The way that, that back air connected in that last stock, that is someone who knows the fundamentals and knows their character well. Yep. And uh, here we go for another round. So Bloody Knight hit, had 19 hits and didn't win the game. I think that's the problem. I think we should be seeing max six for stock. If he, if he gets the hardest hitting moves, I mean, he can rack up enough percentage. But yeah. sometimes it can be tricky. So right now, he needs to find himself getting himself down. Has the percent lead right now because he's gotten one hit. But if you're Wolf, you know, it doesn't take long to even it up. That lingering hitbox from Nair keeping Blood in it on his toes. Keeping him back. Okay. That's, that's three hits so far. Uh-huh. Even about a uh, pretty close percentage so far. Uh, and he went for the finisher, too. Up smash. Yeah, Bloody Knight just sometimes just has to throw at the wild options. That up smash was kooky. I mean, if, if Wolf can't make you lose a stock for the wild option, you go for the wild option. It's true. That's that jab coming in, so close percent. That is, I believe, six hits so far. Yep. Up smash, not going to do it. Dude, that grab, whoa. This man's got long hands. Uh, it's unfortunate. Does not get the runoff Nair that he wanted to see. Down tilt will do it. So eight. Eight yeah. on that one. Is it, oh, he's improving. He's improving. Yeah, he's getting this. Sometimes less is more, and he's going to make those big hits count. Oh, I thought that was going to be scary for Wolf. Could not grab out a shield. That is not something. That's, uh, that's how you know he's a brawl player, because that used to always work. Oh, yeah, Bloody Knight is going tricky all over Jamal right now. Has that lead? They both just forward smash across the full stage in each other's directions? That's fun to see. And it gets tricky, but, like, you, it's so hard to shield grab because you you actually are minus on... Sh like, your, your shield grab is slower than anything else. 
Like, if any other option out of shield is actually four frames faster. They, they intentionally made shield grabbing slower, so it was harder to do. So, yeah. and not Back draw. here does the trick, and Jamal needs to find this stock before it is too late. Yeah, I, I think we're... Uh, uh, I just wanted to go for some yeah, crazy trade. Yeah, he went. He's going nah, he died. Yeah, he, you died for that. I think we're. I think the hit counter is at 15, so... That's a, that's a pretty good average right now. Two stocks, only 15 hits. Trying to create space here, trying to get in his head. And I mean, that's, get it or, again, fear is his greatest weapon. Yeah. And right now, if I was Jamal, I'd be terrified right now. You are down a full stock against a Ganondorf. You have to jump over stuff like that because Blade Knight's a wild man. He's actually nuts. He's, I, he's crazy. Well, he gets the, oh, I was expecting to see the dark dive in reverse to get that KO, but no. I actually might have been able to side beam. And he didn't think about it in time, but. The turnaround down smash is unfortunately not paying off the button right now because he's getting racked up percentage on his final stock. Jamal. He had such a big lead. Yeah, Jamal is looking good. Jamal is bringing him back. He's got all the momentum his way. But two hits is all it takes for Blade to win. So, got to make this count. Being very oh careful. Oh, no. What are you doing? That's Blade crazy. Blade just wants the clips, but he gets clipped instead. And Jamal with that crazy down smash side, he takes it 2-0 over Bloody Knight.